Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. Today is vlog two. Uh, we are going to do a the April meal plan today and I'm going to call it a recession meal plan because uh, I want to try to do it as cheaply as possible. Let's see what we can do. So in order to do, to do that best, I think I need to first clean out the pantry uh, and I'm going to take a tip from Jordan Page from Fun Cheaper Free and write down every single thing that's in my pantry and in my freezer and then go from what I find there to um, meal plan for the next month. I'll show you, we already meal plan um, monthly. So on the days we know we're all gonna be together, I go ahead and write this out. So I need to write it out for April. And right now this kitchen is a bit of a mess. As you can see, the whole house is actually a bit of a mess. Um, but we just got back from a bike ride and my husband's out now with my daughter and they're going for a Power Wheels truck ride. And um, I think it's time to start. So I'm just gonna clean up the countertop here and then uh, write down everything that I have so that I can meal plan for April. It would be really cool to come in like way under budget. So I'll share all that detail with you when I get it. Let me show you the pantry real quick. It's kind of a mess. So this is our pantry. I filmed a video where I organized this probably over a year ago, but um, currently we have all of that. This is my daughter's drawer. Convenience snacks. Hot Mess Express. Cans and other nonsense. Medications, spices, etc. This is more just larger cooking items. Um, up here is even larger items, mostly baking items, and there is where we can keep excess of things. So, like, I know we have some canned goods that we can go through. I've got pasta kind of shoved everywhere back here. Chips. Um, I mean, it's not a ton of stuff, but it's at least some things that, like, I know I can work with and help supplement in our budget and in our grocery list in our meal plan for april so let me get to working so one drawer down downton abbey on the tv because you need something to entertain yourself i'll show you yep i'm binging downton abbey on amazon and um so far I just got the canned goods and i'm it's looking very good that i could really actually have a successfully low budget for april's groceries based on everything I have and what I can make. And again, that's just uh, one pull out drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these two while, while I'm at it. Okay. So we've got this one all set up and this is what I've kind of got written down so far. Downton Abbey still on the TV. And then we're still cleaning in here, here, and we'll still have all this to go through. I actually don't have as much food as I thought I did. So I have finished and made a lot of room and figured out what I have. So we've got baking goods there, same thing up there. Um, same things here, I've organized my spices medications, vitamins up there as well, all of my canned goods. Um, I put my pasta somewhere else, but I have rices and boxed things there. And then the insane amount of Kirkland's uh, chocolate chip soft chewy granola bars. Not sure if you can tell that I like those. Same thing here, mostly breads. Oh. And the best chocolate is at Aldi. This is, um, it's a big bar. I don't know if you can tell by my hand. It's a big bar of chocolate, and I believe it's only a dollar eighty, maybe less than that. Um, and it's huge. And I love dark chocolate. It's actually very, very good. It's not too dark. Um, I think that says 40, 49% cocoa. Um, my daughter loves this too. So super cheap. Get it there. 
And then I did not touch this drawer. This is still our daughter's drawer. And down here we just, um, that's where I decided to put all the pasta, which to me that's a lot of pasta. Um, crackers, large Nesquik, prunes, cherries, tortilla chips. This is more like candles and sprinkles and stuff like that. So, so far so good. So I was able to get the freezer organized. Now we know what we have. Um, smoothie fruits, um, popsicles, chicken nuggets, uh, just some microwavables, corn dogs, cheese sticks, and then in here, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then actually, if you can see, llama beans, llama beans, llama beans, and llama beans, llama beans, and llama beans. I'm not sure if you could tell, but um, we like llama beans. <laughs> We've got plenty of them. That's a part of the problem of not knowing what you have. So I've gone through everything I have, and I didn't realize I didn't have as much food as I thought. Um, it seemed like a lot when it was all piled in there, but when I organized it, I realized it wasn't as much. So I found some space that I can go and get some more canned goods and things like that to go ahead and stockpile if they're available. But what I'm going to do for April is still try to use up some of those things because they've been in there for a while. So quick story time. In December, we decided to do a meatless January. So every meal in January that we planned out was going to be meatless just to see how much money we could save. <laughs> you can hear my daughter in the background. Um, just to let you know, I already am not a huge meat eater. The only kind of meat I really liked was the really bad meat for you, like bacon and hot dogs. So when, for cutting out meat in January, it was fine. It was easy for me to do. Um, it takes a little bit more creativity, but you can work with it. So back in the beginning of January, my husband actually came to me. I guess the guys in his office watched a couple of movies. I'll put those down in the description that really changed their mind as far as activity level and um, uh, health wise in regard to veganism and vegetarianism. So we decided to go meatless completely. And I have actually been the only one, nobody in his office was able to make it past two weeks. Neither was he. And I have been able to do it pretty much the whole time. I've had two times where I've had meat. One was a hot dog. I had no other choice and I was starving and I loved hot dogs. I got sick after I eating it. The second was I had a piece of bacon because bacon is just so good and I felt so tired after it. So we have actually, I have actually become vegetarian um, since the beginning of January, loved it. So every month we basically have just meatless meals. When we're all together, we eat meatless meals for dinner. Now my husband and my daughter are not uh, vegetarian, so we still have meat for them in the house. I'm not pushing that on anyone, but we think it's better for our family to do less meat throughout the week. So whenever we have meals together, they're not meat involved. So that's why you're not gonna see any meat in this, and it actually is a huge saver of money. So maybe just start out with one day a week, do a meatless Monday and see how you can do it, and then go from there. Maybe do two days a week at that point. That will save you a ton of money, especially right now because the shelves are clean out of meat. I've got two chicken breasts that we still have in here and I feel like I could probably sell those for a pretty good price at this point. So let me show you what's on the April calendar. So here is our calendar. And again, we only plan like the meals on the nights when we're all gonna be together. We're gonna do breakfast tacos, which is easy. That's just tacos, eggs, salsa, cheese, um, green bean casserole mashed potatoes and carrots, um, spaghetti and salad. Again, that's just gonna be spaghetti sauce and noodles, which I have a ton of. Um, I say pasta Alfredo. I said pasta Alfredo here because we have all kinds of um, pasta I can use. We'll do a salad and a fruit with that. And then um, this is a really good recipe. It's tomato and pepper lasagna with a salad, twice to baked potatoes, <laughs> one of our many bags of lima beans and then carrots tomato soup and grilled cheese. Um, this is a really good um, meatless meal. Quinoa lentil, um, it looks like meat when you make it and you put it together and you bake it in the oven. Black beans, tacos, we'll do salad and bread with like a gar olive garden type dip. 
breakfast tacos again. Sometimes I repeat. Green bean casserole, carrots and rice, roasted potatoes and onions with a cheese omelet, and spaghetti and salad. So that's gonna be our menu for April. Again, I'm gonna try to hit a $300 budget and I'll take you guys along and actually write down what I actually spend. Um, so I think I can do it because we have most of the staples for those, um, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching and if you could hit that like button, see it, it's right down there. It looks like a thumbs up. YouTube really likes that for the algorithm. And then if you want to, please subscribe so you can go along this journey with us that we're saving as much money as we can every single month in order to pay off our mortgage super, super early and become financially completely independent. So I hope you guys have a great week. Again, still stay safe and healthy and have a wonderful day.